Welcome back, friends, to a very chilly day on the homestead. It is Monday, November 12th, 2018, and I just saw the first snow start to come down. Not enough to even leave a trace anywhere, but it was the first one. So winter is upon us. So it's very nice to have Mrs. W back. She was gone for four days. It was my first um, time uh, being alone, Jack and I, uh, with the sweet loaf. And, well... Who stayed beside him in that den, and who brought him safely out again? Survisive to say, did I say that right? Uh, I wasn't able to make any videos because it was a full-time job, and I have a I have a newfound respect for Mrs. W and how much work uh, that she contributes to the family. My goodness. So we're back and I'm happy uh, to have her back. So uh, I wanted to share something with you. Uh, when I find products that I really like, um, I've, I've always shared them. Um, and I want to talk about these camp chairs because I just found out this morning from Mrs. W that they're on sale for half price. And we found these uh, a few months ago and have fallen in love with them. So watch this to the end. I'll give you the link to where you can go get them and they won't last very long. And half price is a good deal. So when we were looking for camp chairs, uh, of course, as you know, with the, with the adventure van, there's four of us in there. We need four chairs and four chairs take up a lot of space. Remember those old school ones that my, our grandparents had? The aluminum frame with the, all the colorful webbing? I remember, you know, my granddad, uh, he used to repair those. I just think of how far we've come and how things have changed. Um, they actually, they were, you know, of course, they were good quality. You know, the first ones that were made like in the 50s and 60s, they were thick walled tubing and uh, they were made to repair and you could go to the hardware store and buy that stripping. Remember that stuff? I remember, remember granddad's were lots of different colors, you know, because over the years, you know, he'd weave different things through there. Man, that brings back so many memories. I don't know. That's not what I wanted to talk about, but we'll talk about 2018 offerings. And so what we were looking for was not granddad's chairs because they're just, they're huge, right? They're so big. What are you going to do? I mean, you see the, you see the RVers, they, the only solution that they have is they're all hanging on that ladder on the back, you know, flopping around, you know, and they're just massive. And so uh, I don't want those. And so what we needed, we, we need something that was really comfortable, that was very lightweight, and most importantly, very, very tiny, because four chairs have to fit inside. We don't, I don't want a bunch of junk hanging off on the back looking like the Grapes of Wrath. I want to have um, everything to look nice and tidy. So I went on the hunt and this is what I came up with. And these are from REI. This is not a product endorsement. We bought them. I'm sharing this video because you can get them today for half price. Um, doesn't make any difference to me. It's the REI Co-op Flex Light Macro Chair. This in here is a comfortable chair for a big guy, you know, 200 pound guy, myself, uh, or the kids or anyone else. And it's super lightweight. You can pack it anywhere. I mean, how much nicer is this to pack than uh, one of those great big, like Lafumas or something to a yard a, a yard party or a garden concert or grass field concert something like that so uh, let's break it down look inside and see how it goes together of course they come in these nice bags a lot of you don't like REI you don't like their politics and I understand that I've been a member I think Mrs. W and I both been members for probably over 30 years and um, have very very much like REI um, just because I don't agree with someone on their politics doesn't mean that, uh, um, you know, it can't be nice. You know, we don't have to be all, it's not like us or them all the time. Uh, okay, so here we go. So, yeah, I, so there's a, life is about a sacrifice, right? Compromise. Why, why, why does there have to be a sacrifice? But there is sacrifices with everything. Um, and that is the time, a little bit of time and, and nonsense putting it together versus, you know, granddad's chair where you folded it open. But you got to weigh that out. You know, do you want to, would you rather have to store this monstrous thing? Would you rather, or, or many times not take it with you because it's just too big where these you could put in a backpack or something. So you got to kind of weigh that out. But I have gotten it down to when I'm not filming, you know, about 30 seconds, I can put the chair together and it's just like your tents, right? Just like your old, you, you know, your tents with the shock cord in the aluminum frames. The diesel's got to go by. And you ask me why I don't want a diesel. 
you'll be able to hear it for about 14 miles. Uh, but they go together with a shock cord on these aluminum deals um, in, into two plastic frames right there. And the, you can tell what's the, what the bottom is because they've got uh, rubber feet on them, right? So once you get that put together, that's a diesel too, and they're the worst kind. General Motors. All right, so here is the uh, here is the the cover. Now, these are fragile in that uh, you don't want to get them near sparks in your uh, by your campfire because you know they're as a structure, the way it's sewn and when it's all put together, that's what gives it its strength. You know what is it? The sum of pieces, whatever. Uh, so you know, like the beer can. You know if you stand on a or a pop can, stand on a can. If you're really careful, you can put a lot of weight on it, but as soon as you touch the side of it with your foot, it'll collapse. Same principle with windmills and all of that. You know, once they're all assembled, then they're they're actually quite strong, and that's the case for this. So um, it's got these tabs in it. Of course, quality is top notch. REI brand is REI brand and, and the Kirkland brand from Costco are just always, almost always. Never really had a bad experience with either that I can remember. Top notch. Um, and you just, and you have to kind of somewhat bend these bars or flex them would be a better word to get them into the pockets. Uh, but, and it is a little bit cold. But once you get it in, then you have a, a super lightweight, look how light it is. Super lightweight a chair that is really, really comfortable. And if you want to get really fancy and be uptown, you, you got to add this guy here. We absolutely love this thing. So the, what this is, is it's a, it's a beautiful little wooden table. It's actually bamboo, I think. It's not looking out for me there. Oh, I've got some grout sand or something in there. So you take these legs here, right? And you just pop them in. That bamboo is some tough. There we go. That's what you're supposed to do. Pop them in. And... You know, they're nice. Look at that. It's all, you know, it looks like it's stainless steel. It's definitely plated. And then you have a great little table that you can have a nice meal on that's low enough to work with the chairs because these chairs, these chairs are small and low. Let's try it out here. And it doesn't, I don't feel like I'm getting on a mechanical bowl uh, when I get on these chairs either. They're, we've had them in the sand and, and right here, you know, I've got a pretty decent slope, right? You know, kind of to the left. And they are, uh, they're really stable and they feel really strong and secure. I'd say, I don't know, maybe if you're, start, if you're pushing over uh, 225 pounds or so, maybe this is not the chair for you. But uh, uh, if you fall underneath that, I think, I think they're great. And how cool is that with a little table? What we end up doing is uh, we, we uh, Mrs. W and I, will, we, we'll just put these two out. And we'll find some place that's really nice, like down by a river or some place overlooking a gorge or a mountain view or you know whatever. Wherever. It doesn't make any difference. It's something where we like sit down there and, and have a nice picnic meal on these chairs with their. It's just wonderful, and they're so small you could take them. I mean, look at the, you, could, you could grab a picnic basket, right? Put your favorite things together, and you could if there's the two of you, you got those two little tiny chairs and that table. What a nice date that would be, huh? It's advice to you young guys right there. I mean, that would that would make the make a young girl swoon, wouldn't it? Seems to me it would. All right. Well, thanks for watching. This video came up because um, we bought these two to try them out, and, and that that sale came up. So I'll put a link down there to it's the REI outlet, I believe. I'll pin it to the comment, and I'll put it in the suggestion heading. Head over there. They're going to be gone. Uh, we we ordered two more because we needed one for the sweet loaf and for Jack. So. Um, that's how I came across the deal, but 50 bucks. That's what it is. Sorry price 50 bucks because when we bought these Like oh, we were really hemming and hawing because a hundred dollars a piece for a chair that was that's that's expense super expensive But we decided well, we'll buy two and if we really like them Then maybe we can we'll get some more for the kids and then and then we found the sale. So that's it All right, so what's on tap today? Well, I it is uh, we woke up to about 21 degrees It's cold for us here. It's a moist cold our cold is an Oregon 21 degrees is equivalent to like 300 below in Minnesota. 
That's what I'm telling you. It's a wetter, colder, gets in your bones type of cold. Um, but uh, so on tap today, uh, Mrs. W is cooking and uh, she's already getting excited, getting ready for the holidays. November, what, Thanksgiving? What's that, in 10 days or so? We're hosting Thanksgiving here. Uh, our family tra tradition is um, I'll have all of the Christmas decorations and all the holiday decorations down. And she wants to, she likes to start decorating the house the day after Thanksgiving. So um, that's kind of our family tradition. So I know she's kind of moving in that direction and getting stoked uh, for that. So I'm going around winterizing all the equipment, draining fire pumps. Thank you very much for all the reminders, uh, as well as checking all the antifreeze levels and everything in the, the vehicles and the small engines that are water cooled and, and motorcycles and, so, and such. So let me know in the comments or give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want me to bring, drag the camera along and kind of show you that process that we go through, I'm happy to do it um, if there's any interest. So let me, let me know, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.